If you're looking for a trusted and reliable source of news and information, check out my friends over at PatriotPost.us. A link for them is in the description box. They're currently offering a free subscription. So when you go over there and subscribe, tell them that ABL sent you. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about a little controversy, the little dust up that happened on Twitter, and it spilled over to national news as it relates to some tweets that Donald Trump made directed at U.S. Rep. Elijah Cummings of Maryland 7th District. Now, there is a lot to quote unquote unpack here, as the cool kids would say. But let's start from the very beginning so you understand why this is even the story, why it's important and what significance it has in the greater conversation happening right now. Elijah Cummings, this guy, like I said, U.S. Rep, Maryland, 7th District. He's been there since 1996, a very long time, over 20 years. I've not really seen a lot of change happen, not a lot of positive things going forward, <laughs> not really much. And the reason why I say that is because his district is not doing very well. Okay, maybe in some of the county represents, maybe like Baltimore County, Howard County, but West Baltimore, it is terrible. You're talking about third world country type of conditions like Bernie Sanders said three years ago or more on the campaign trail. But I digress. Trump is being called racist for saying basically the same thing that Bernie Sanders said four years ago that was not considered racist because of the tweets on the screen before you. OK, he's saying, look, Elijah Cummings, worry about your own district, which Baltimore is terrible, you know, rat infested, rodent infested human beings don't want to live there. This day and the third. Now, there are no lies in Donald Trump's tweets, in my humble opinion. West Baltimore is terrible. You have bandos everywhere. And if you don't know what a bando is, that's an abandoned house. And I'll be saying bandos a lot in this video because there are quite a bit of bandos in Baltimore, especially West Baltimore, but I digress. There's bandos everywhere. There's trash everywhere. And I ain't talking about just residents leaving their garbage on the ground. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about people coming and dumping their trash from other places in the backyards and alleys behind these abandoned houses, behind these bandos, and also inside the bandos, okay? That's what's happening. And of course, there's drugs everywhere. And beyond that, you're talking about the violence. Oh my goodness. We're looking at like maybe 300 for the year so far. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But quite a bit of homicides already, like 32 in the month of July so far. And we still got a few days left. Okay. West Baltimore and in general, Baltimore, the city is not doing very well. There's no real excuse for it. People talking about poverty. Poverty how? Like Maryland is a very rich state because of D.C. and the surrounding area. How is Baltimore doing so poorly. It doesn't make any sense, but let's get back to the story. Now, the reason why Trump put those tweets out is because Elijah Cummings has been attacking people that are trying to keep our country safe. Check out this clip of Elijah Cummings speaking to Homeland Security Secretary Kevin McAleenan. When we hear about stories coming out from you and your agency that everything is pretty good and you're doing a great job i guess you, you feel like you're doing a great job right is we're, that what you're saying we're doing our level best in a very challenging what does that mean situation. what does that mean when a child is sitting in their own feces can't take a shower come on man what's that about none of us would have our children in that position they are human beings it's not the deed that you do to a child. It's the memory. It's the memory. We are the United States of America. We are the greatest country in the world. We are the ones that can, can go anywhere in the world and save people. Make sure that they have diapers. Make sure that they have toothbrushes. Make sure that they're not laying around defecating in some silver paper so you see all that fire all that fury all this finger pointing and come on man all this and that but what about your own constituents in west baltimore mr cummings what about that you're talking about kids on the border don't have no toothbrushes and they're living in squalid conditions well 
Look at the screen before you, everybody. Just take a look at it. This is West Baltimore, sir. I can't tell if I'm in the United States or if I'm in Iraq after a bombing. What's really going on here? Is, is it Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan? This is West Baltimore, USA, his district. So the kids on the border are living in better conditions than that. Okay. In these uh, camps on the border, you don't have people just dumping trash in the camp or drugs in the camp. And the violence is not there. It's safe. You got Homeland Security, Border Patrol, the FBI, the state police at a particular place. You, you got all kind of safety measures there. It's nothing like your district. So when you're talking about what needs to happen and how Homeland Security, uh, the Border Patrol and all this and that need to tighten up on how the people on the border are treated. What about your own citizens? What about your own people that voted for you to be in office? What about them? He don't want to talk about that. His response on Twitter was like, oh, well, I put forward a bill about reducing the drug prices, drug prices. What does that got to do with all the bandos in Baltimore and all the drugs and the violence and the trash? Okay. I mean, come on, trash. The citizens are saying we're trying to call them and say, hey, come get this trash out of my uh, alleyway because quiet as it's kept, some people still live there. Like you got bandos everywhere. You may have a whole row of row houses that are abandoned, but one might be occupied. Okay, you can see, you can pretty much tell who's living there, who's not. Because some of them will have bars on the, if it ain't no bars on the windows, then, or door, it's abandoned. If there is a bar on the window or door, you probably got somebody living right there. So who wants to have people just dump trash and everything else right next to their house? You got kids living there. It's dangerous. Okay. The same thing's happening in LA right now, but to a, a higher degree, obviously LA, you got trash, human waste, drugs, all of that mixed together. The homeless situation is out of control in LA as it is in Baltimore. You got homeless people living in these bandos. And, you know, of course, there ain't no running water or nothing like that. They're just defecating wherever they can. So you're talking about, oh, they can't be, they shouldn't be defecating on the ground. Okay. If that's how you feel, Elijah Cummings, then you got to tighten up your own city. You got kids defecating on the ground because where they live at is a bando because their mom and dad are on drugs. Okay. So you got to tighten that up first where you try to like punch your finger at somebody else. I mean, it's very simple. And the reality is, the border conditions are much better than these liberal cities. <laughs> okay. You got these, uh, these camps, people are able to go to school, play soccer, get a haircut, you know, get a, a private tutor, all this and that. And the reality is that they're being detained because crossing the border illegally is illegal. It's a crime. Okay. If I go beyond the speed limit and I'm reckless driving, I get arrested. I probably will go to jail. Why? Because doing that is illegal. If I'm drunk behind the wheel, okay, I get pulled over, I get breathalyzer test, I'm above the legal limit, guess what? I'm in handcuffs, I'm going to jail. Anybody going to say, oh, you're separating him from his family? No, you are violating the law. You broke the law. Now you're going over here. If your kids can't come with you and they have nowhere to go, guess what? They're going to go into uh, CPS and held there. That's how these things work. So my solution to the whole thing and Elijah Cummings to relieve his stress would be stop coming across illegally. All right. It's very simple. And before you want to criticize somebody, Mr. Cummings, tighten up your own city. You know, don't blame Republicans. Don't blame the, the right because it ain't that your district's been Democrat since it became a district again after it was abolished in the 1840s. <laughs> like, it was there prior to 1840. The last person who had the seat before the Democrats took over in 1950 when it was reinstated was the Whig Party. <laughs> it was gone 100 years. The Whig Party had it last. The Democratic Party has had it since 1950. You're the most recent incarnation. You've been there 23 years. Where is it changed? Where is the actual improvement? There is a whole show about your city called The Wire. I've seen it many times. I've been to Baltimore. It's pretty accurate especially for like West Baltimore, East Baltimore, some of the gang areas, the drug areas, the bandos, the row houses. That's how it is. 
it's not gotten any better. So what are you doing to fix your own place? People are saying that Trump was racist to say that the city was infested. Talking about, oh, and, and Rhonda, they said that the Tutsis were like cockroaches. And then they went on the genocide because uh, they said that they were infested. It's like, look, <laughs> anytime I know genocide, I'm talking about a real thing. If you have rats, roaches, drugs, everything else in a place, what do you call it? But infested. What do you call it? But disgusting. It's simple. It's not about trying to uh, put anybody down. Any of the people that are there that are down. It's about leadership. That's all that it is. Maryland has plenty of money, plenty of resources. The only reason why Baltimore is the way it is is because of Democratic leadership for the past 50, 60, 70, 80, I don't know how many years. There's been one Republican mayor since 1947, and that was in 1963 for a one-year term. Baltimore is a Democratic-run city, and they've run it into the ground as they have other Democratic led areas so that's pretty much all i got what say you do you think that donald trump's tweets were racist were they offensive or was he keeping it real it's like look stop finger wagging at us stop trying to blame us tighten up your own place first how about that okay and how about elijah cummings was he correct to try to scream on the secretary of homeland security kevin mckelinan if you feel that way let me know why in the comments below if you disagree with that let me know why in the comments below and whatever other comments you may have Please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. If you had uh, one message to uh, get out there to, you know, just officials or anyone that can make a difference that's in public office, not even a specific person, but anyone in public office, what would be your message to them? Help us because we're helping y'all. Y'all want our votes, y'all want us to write Congress, y'all want us to do this and do this, y'all need to help us. Once y'all start helping us, maybe the neighborhood, maybe Baltimore will get better.